Who was the man whose footsteps marked the birth of one of America's greatest cities? Today, we delve into the ignomatic life of Jean-Baptiste Point du Sable, the little-known founder of Chicago. In the late 18th century, a time when the American frontier was a tapestry of indigenous nations and European settlements, a figure emerged whose legacy would become the cornerstone of a great metropolis. But who was Jean-Baptiste de Point du Sable? A trader? A settler? A visionary? Or perhaps all of these? Jean-Baptiste de Point du Sable, a man shrouded in mystery, steps into the wilderness of the Great Lakes region. His origins are as enigmatic as the man himself. Possibly born in Haiti around 1745, his journey to the heart of the American wilderness is a tale of resilience and vision. Imagine Du Sable, a young man of African descent, embarking on a voyage from the vibrant shores of Haiti, traversing the oceans and navigating foreign lands. Each step is a stride into the unknown, each day a testament to his unyielding spirit. The sea journey alone is perilous, a voyage that tests the mettle of even the most seasoned sailors. But what drives a man like Du Sable to leave behind everything familiar? Was it the allure of adventure, the promise of trade, or something deeper? Upon reaching the vast untamed wilderness of North America, Du Sable finds himself in a world starkly different from the tropical climes of his birth. Here, the Great Lakes stretch like the vast inland seas, surrounded by dense forests and rolling prairies. In this rugged landscape, Du Sable's journey transforms him. He learns the language and customs of the Native American tribes, skills that prove invaluable. His ability to navigate not just the physical terrain, but also the complex web of cultural and linguistic diversity is remarkable. By the late 1770s, Du Sable, with his profound knowledge of Native American languages and customs, establishes a prosperous trading post near the mouth of the Chicago River. This isn't just any trading post. It's a vibrant hub featuring a house, barn, mill, and even a smokehouse. Du Sable's settlement is a beacon of economic and cultural exchange. His marriage to a Potawatomi woman, Kitty Hawa, further cements his role as a pivotal figure bridging different worlds. In 1800, a significant chapter in Jean-Baptiste Point du Sable's life draws to a close. This year marks a pivotal moment, not just for du Sable, but the burgeoning settlement that would one day become Chicago. Over two decades of building, trading, and forming deep ties with the land and its people, du Sable makes a momentous decision. He decides to sell his property, the very heart of his life's work. Enter Jean Le Lime, a figure who would later be known as another early settler of Chicago. In a transaction that would reshape the future of the settlement, Du Sable sells his thriving trading post, complete with its buildings and land, to Jean. The sale is more than a business transaction. It's a passing of the torch, a moment where the legacy of one pioneer begins to meld into the history of another. The Lime, who would continue to develop the area, owes the foundation of his success to the groundwork laid by Du Sable. As Du Sable departs the land he nurtured, one can only imagine his thoughts. Did he foresee the future of Chicago? Did he sense the enduring impact of its contributions? Though de Sable leaves Chicago, a place he helped shape, but would not see flourish into the city it is today, his spirit remains embedded in its streets, its rivers, and its very soul. De Sable's departure from Chicago marks the end of an era and the beginning of a legacy. A legacy that lives on in the bustling streets, towering skyscrapers, and vibrant culture of modern Chicago. De Sable's final years in Missouri are as quiet as his early life was adventurous. He passes away in 1818, leaving behind a legacy that would remain unrecognized for centuries. Today, Chicago stands as a testament to his vision. Streets, schools, and museums bear his name, honoring the man who laid the foundation for one of America's most iconic cities. Jean-Baptiste de Point du Sable, a man of mystery and foresight, a figure who reminds us that history is often written not just by the famous, but also by those who quietly shape the world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. This has been Historia Institute.